Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 26th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, and it's been very busy. We had 17 sunspots on our sun the other day. Some pretty active sunspot groupings. No major solar flares thwarted our way, nor CMEs. Pretty large plasma filament lifting from the surface there, and that is incoming imagery. Pretty large plasma filament as well spinning around the surface. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Multiple sunspot regions firing away, mostly C-class solar flares the past two days. Nothing major. But I wanted to give you a closer look here at that large plasma filament eruption. It did produce a small CME, not in an Earth-directed fashion. Multi-spectrum here pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Pretty large plasma filament there. You can see bottom left-hand corner of our sun as well coronal hole regions one stretch to the equator from the south and another one building in north going towards the equator and having a look here 171 angstroms this is where we can see right now we have an active 13 sunspot regions which are all visible here and mostly grouped together another closer look here at those Sunspot regions in fluid motion. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Current space weather conditions. We are under a G1 geomagnetic storm watch and impacts are in effect. Solar winds are coming in at 321 kilometers per second. Current solar x-ray flux hanging out in the C-class range after firing strong C-class and as well long duration C-class solar flare. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to KP5 throughout the day today as we are expecting incoming space weather. And that is visible here on the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral. Next solar storm expected 28th into the 29th. Minor instability. Quick look here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. Little yellow circle there is Earth. And this big spiral showing all of our sun's energy. Having a look here at Lasco 3 Coronagraph. This is showing since the 21st, as I have not updated in quite a few days. I apologize for that, but I am here now broadcasting to 195 countries worldwide. And thank you so much for subscribing, pressing that play button tonight. This is a look at our sun for the past five days as we had 17 sunspot regions on our sun at one point. And we did just recently report or visualize in the last few images on Lasco 3 here. Small see me taking off in the northeast, southwest direction and to portal to each other. You'll see that here. We'll slow that right down. So yeah, more imagery coming through. So stay tuned for the next update. We'll give you a full visualization. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As we did have pretty sizable earthquake here reported. 6.0, the mid-Indian ridge. Not affecting mankind, but close towards Easter Island. Or sorry, uh, the herd of volcano. Lots of activity through the Banda Sea and Indonesia still. Solomon Islands, 5.1. And their deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 515 kilometer depth. Fiji, Tonga with a 4.5. And as well notable here, New Zealand earthquake, 4.3. And that is south of Tapo. Julian City, Taiwan, still seeing a sizable aftershocks 5.7 today three of them throughout the region very active pacific plate right now 
just recently 4.0 reported in Turkey, and as well notable here 4.1 earthquake reported yesterday in Poland, which is a pretty rare spot to be reporting earthquakes, but does happen sometimes. Across the North American plate, you got an earthquake swarm, New Mexico, border with Texas, as well notable earthquake here, 4.3, close towards the Gulf of California, Mexico, and as well notable activity moving up into LA. Lots of minor seismicity, but no swarms to talk about right now. Caribbean plate, minor activity, and quiet South American plate, and it's been eerily quiet the last seven days going to be keeping an eye central regions and South American plate. Notable earthquakes there, South Sandwich Islands towards the Michael Volcano. And right now we still have an active and erupting 46 volcanoes, just so you know. No new ones have erupted. USGS reporting 258 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Quick look here at the USGS map showing across western United States. Across the California state, reporting 100 earthquakes. No major swarms to note, but notable activity at Mount St. Helens and as well Mount Rainier. Right atop of those volcanoes through the Pacific Northwest. Notable earthquake there in Louisiana as well. Minor seismicity and aftershocks continue New Jersey. And minor earthquakes are starting to swarm in Alaska. So heads up everybody, stay aware, prepared. That's what this channel is all about and I thank you all for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Kind of gives you an idea, the pulse, the rhythm of our planet with all of its earthquakes and its daily earth changes. Deep movement, Pacific Plate, what's going on in Taiwan? All right, let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our 46 active and erupting volcanoes. This is the sulfur dioxide forecast. So still large plume moving through the equator and half of it has already been blown over into central parts of Africa through the Congo region. So intense air quality throughout there and as well through India. As that big plume from Mount Rung is still up there in our atmosphere and encircling, encompassing our world, really. And that's what our volcanoes have been doing the past five years, increasingly and steadily erupting more often. Quick look here around the rest of the world. Minor SO2 being detected at the Michael Volcano, South Sandwich Islands, and as well, look at that, New Zealand, north parts of New Zealand, SO2. So some pressure valves being released through the region. And all across Indonesia and up into the Philippines, that mountain rung is still erupting. Having a look here over eastern Russia and the Aleutian Islands through Alaska. Some pretty big eruptions this week. Shovelich, Klichevskoy. And notable activity across the Aleutian Islands. Now let's have a look at world weather here brought to you by Windy.com. We do have an intense system sweeping northeastward up into Canada. Another low pressure system coming from the Gulf in a couple days. That's going to... Increase the extreme weather threats, especially across the Gulf states. And then a cold low sweeping across the prairies will bring some snow to northern parts of Canada. But other than that, we've got a tropical push and multiple systems coming from the equator, so things are about to warm up. But a lot of moisture associated. Overlooking at Europe, you've got multiple lows right now spinning around most of Western Europe and central high pressure ridge moving in and then a big low moves in from iceland no major severe weather outbreaks but multiple low pressure systems spinning around and keeping a lot of moisture throughout the region 
watching the long range bay glow moving in from the north overlooking australia africa southeast asia no major typhoons or cyclones forming in this forecast but some intense moisture bands smashing into eastern africa and as well parts of uh, northern madagascar this week monsoon rains starting to increase across malaysia and in indonesia and then we'll watch over new zealand here this forecast as you do have some pretty strong winds turbulent turbulent lows and highs in the southern hemisphere right now so watch for an extreme weather event across new zealand as you get a couple lows converging over you and no and then overlooking at the pacific ocean north pacific no major threats big high pressure ridge moving in for most of the southern west united states all these lows heading up into alaska and northern bc so drought on the way across southwestern parts of the united states heads up now i wanted to share here with you our upper level winds this is showing top level winds you're able to depict our polar vortex this is the southern polar vortex right now as winter is in the southern hemisphere quick look at its shape and what it's doing to our trade winds equatorial winds as everything is shifted now northern hemisphere versus the southern and this is our stratosphere now well, let's get to our toposphere or sorry toposphere now this is our stratosphere showing the upper level currents very windy situation across across the world right now and wavy multiple arches in these low pressure systems high pressure systems they're getting bigger they're getting stronger velocity size just some very interesting shapes you know our planet is changing right before our eyes and that's why daily events worldwide is here to keep you all aware and prepared to these great changes that are happening on our world and i thank you all again for pressing play subscribing all of the love and support to this channel please don't forget to give a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know where you're watching from much love everybody stay aware prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.